This tutorial will show you how to enter your research portal and to submit an application to the SRC for a funding opportunity or to the Research Ethics Board or Ethics Review Committee for Student Research for an ethics protocol, as well as to the Animal Care and Biosafety Committee for an Animal Use or Biohazards Protocol. Please go to the research homepage on the Bishops University website and click on this purple button that says Bishops University Research Portal. This will bring you to your login page. You have already created your profile in the research portal. Please remember that your username is your email and you may enter your password and log in. For the purposes of these videos, we have created a dummy account in the name of Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Now, if you wished to apply to submit a new protocol or a new grant application, you may click on Apply New, which will bring you to a page that contains all of the application forms for the research office. They are divided into Office of Research Ethics. This is for application forms for the ACBC, the Animal Care and Biosafety Committee, for the REB, the Research Ethics Board, or for the Ethics Review Committee for Student Research. Please note that students and graduate students will not have access for the first year to the research portal. So for the 2017-2018 academic year, students will have to submit protocols by email, signed protocols by email, to Julie Fredette, as they have been doing in the past years. Below the box Office of Research Ethics, you have Office of Research Services, where you will find the application forms for an SRC, Research and Creative Activity Grants, for the SRC Travel Grant, or for the SRC Publication Grant. Now, you may just click on any of these forms to open them and to start filling them out. This is a blank form. You will notice that they are divided into tabs, project info, team info, sponsor info. The grant itself, the application form itself, is in a special tab that has the same name as the grant application that you have been used to filling out uh, and has exactly the same questions. So there will be nothing new here. Any attachments you wish to add can be added just by clicking Add Attachment. Attachments can include CVs for research ethics applications. Uh, these may include consent forms, uh, recruitment scripts, questionnaires, debriefing forms, etc. The Approvals and Logs button are not necessarily relevant. Uh, there are no assigning authorities at Bishops other than the research office that merely forwards the application forms to the appropriate committee. The Log tab allows you to see all of the workflow that has been done on this application. And the Errors tab appears when the application is incomplete. As you will see here, all of these questions have not been answered and therefore I will not be able to submit this form at this moment. Nothing has been filled out. You see, it won't work. Please check all the mandatory details. Uh, check the error tab for more details. The error tab will tell you exactly what needs to be filled in. When every tab has been filled in, the error tab will disappear and you will be able to submit. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, uh, Sherlock Holmes already started a grant application. So he will go into his home page and you'll see here under Applications, Drafts. He has two applications in here. These are applications that he has started to work on but not yet submitted. So we're going to click on these. The application, test application for video tutorial is the one that interests us. This is the one actually that we just opened, um, that we did not submit at all, that we are not interested in submitting. So for this, the purpose of this video, I will delete it. Now, we are going to edit Sherlock's test application for the video tutorial. It is an ethics submission form for research involving human participants. So I already started filling out the forms, uh, the, the fields. Please note that for ethics protocols, do not fill out a start date. I will manually input the start date that corresponds to the date of final approval of the project. Now, if Sherlock's project had been funded, he could come here under Related Awards and click Search. And he could have linked the award that funded the project to the ethics application. 
the easiest way to do this is to search by the PI's last name. Now you'll see, because Sherlock isn't a real person, he doesn't actually have a grant. See, no records to display. That didn't work at all. But if you did have a grant and that you wanted to link it to your ethics application, doing a search this way would allow you to see all of your grants and you would be able to choose the source of funding that corresponds to this ethics application. Under Project Team Info, Sherlock is already automatically filled out as PI because we are logged into his account. Please note that if you have uh, a number of collaborators working on a project, any collaborator can enter, any collaborator that is a faculty member at Bishops, can enter into the research portal and start uh, working on the application. However, only the PI will have the submit button here at the top. If you are working on an application through your own research portal but you are not the PI, you may click change PI here and enter the correct information. Oh, oh yeah, do not navigate using your browser back button. I did that by mistake, but it's a good thing to know. If you wish to add project team members, you may do so here by clicking Add New. If your project team members are already faculty members at Bishops University, they are likely already in the system. Therefore, you can look for them just by clicking Search here. Search by their last name. Now, of course, Sherlock Holmes's collaborator is... John Watson. Who else? So we're going to click search profiles. And of course he's in there. He's in biological sciences, obviously because he's a doctor. So I'm going to select him. If your collaborator is a Bishops University faculty member who is not yet in the system, who has not registered in the research portal, please ask that person to do so, so that you may enter them in the team member section. If your project collaborator is an external uh, faculty member, please contact Sylvie Cote or Julie Fredette at the research office and they will manually input that person and that person's institution in the system. External faculty members do not have access to the research portal. So John Watson is in here. We have listed his role in the project as a co-investigator. Other possible roles could be a collaborator, a co-supervisor, or a supervisor. But in this case, I think it's suitable for him to be a co-investigator. Click Save and Close. The third tab is the form that you are used to filling out already. For the purposes of this uh, video tutorial, I have already begun filling out the form. So you have here, you select the committee, you decide if the protocol is part of a multi-study project funded internally or externally. The yellow box will give some uh, more details about the nature of this question. And you will fill in each of the tabs as you would in the application forms that you are already used to submitting. Now you will notice here I have a red errors tab. I did that on purpose. If I click on that, it'll tell me, look, Question 6.1, specify who will have access to the data collected. That is a question that is required. Hmm, I didn't answer that question. So I'm going to go back to section 6, 6.1. Ah, yes, that question was not answered. And it has a red asterisk, which means that it is a mandatory question. So I will answer that question. And then go back here. Oops, the red errors tab has now disappeared which means that I may submit. Prior to submitting, I can choose to print the application, I can export my application to Word or to PDF, or I can just submit right away. Please note that no physical signature is required by submitting through your research portal. This counts as an electronic signature. Clicking the Submit button will prompt this little box. Please approve my ethics application and you may click submit and the protocol will automatically be transferred over to the research office where Sylvie Cote or Julie Fredette will forward it to the appropriate committee.